Hey guys, how's it going? Richard here, and we are here today with another episode of the Daily Sports Vlog. Today, we are focusing on one major thing. Trades, trades, and more trades. Now, we will start in the world of football, or as we Americans like to call it, the world of soccer, with a big move today from Bayern Munich. Renato Sanchez, their star young center, 20 years old, from Portugal, has just been sent on a season-long loan to Swazny City in the Premier League. Now, for Bayern, I think this is the best thing they could have done with him. He only played 25 games last season. He always came off the bench. He didn't have any goals in all competitions, and he's just really being a substitute. And they really need him to play if they want him to really grow. So, sending him to Swazny gives Swazny a huge boost. Will basically guarantee them avoiding relegation as long as Renato Sanchez stays healthy. I have a feeling Renato Sanchez will be having a double-double season. 10 goals, 10 assists at least if he starts, which I believe he definitely will be in the middle of that midfield. So, I think for Swazny City, it's a great move. They pick him up for a season. And for Bayern, it's... The best thing they could have done to let him go out and develop and become his own player in his own way. Now, let's move on to the big trade today in baseball. Justin Upton, outfielder, on a six-year, $132 million contract in Detroit, has just been traded to the Los Angeles Angels. The Los Angeles Angels, who are in the playoff hunt for the wild card, are looking to up their chances of making it past that wild card game. And they did it today by nailing a huge power player for them. Justin Upton hitting about 275 this year. I believe 24 home runs and 79 RBIs. He's got four years, $88 million left on his contract. Once again, four years, $88 million. And it's so far, it seems that the Angels have agreed to pick up the entire contract without any assistance from the Tigers. And in return, the Angels have sent Detroit's way two minor league players, one a pitcher, one unnamed, and also some bonus cash considerations. In the end, I think the Tigers are just rebuilding at this point. They're trying to offload their big major contracts. They were looking to trade Verlander at the deadline. It didn't happen. So they offloaded one of their biggest contracts, give them a lot of space next season to rebuild. For the Angels, they, they just nailed this move. They have locked down a superstar outfielder who will be a 25 home run, 100 RBI guy for them every season, most likely the next four seasons, if he stays healthy, which probably will. Come on, it's baseball. Uh, he, there's not too many chances for an injury. At least a significant one. Anyway, I think the Angels absolutely demolished this trade. The Tigers are ripped off for Justin Upton. They got two minor league players who you have no idea if they're going to be MLB potential or not, and some cash. That for a 25 home run, 100 RBI guy for four more years, that's that's you just got the crap kicked out of you, Detroit. I feel sorry for you, Angels. Great job by that GM office. Fantastic work. Now, we'll move on to the biggest trade news of the day. Kyrie Irving is officially a member of the Boston Celtics. That trade was approved by the league today and has gone through. There were some slight adjustments to the trade from what I reported last week. If you look at my Kyrie Irving reaction video from a day or two after it happened, uh, Crowder and Isaiah Thomas are still going to Cleveland. They also threw in center Anton Zizic. They're still sending that first-round pick from originally from the Brooklyn Nets, but they also threw in another draft pick. So this is basically a five-for-one player swap here. So in hindsight, Cleveland does win in, that, in those terms. I mean, five players for one player, no matter how you look at it, is a win for the team that received five. But... Then again, Boston has set themselves up for a year or two down the line once the Warriors break up to be the favorite to win the title for the next two or three years after that. With Steph Curry and being the only player locked down, two years from now, they're going to have to make a decision. Whether it's going to be they keep Durant 
or they keep Thompson and Draymond Green both on slightly cut salaries. It's going to have to be one or the other. Honestly, I think they keep Durant first and then either Thomas, no, then either Clay Thompson or Draymond Green will be signed on a cut contract and the other will be gone or they will take both Clay Thompson and Draymond Green back and let Durant go after two more years and Durant will go wherever he wants. Personally, I think it will be their goal to keep Durant, but I do think Durant will be the one in the end who is going to leave. After, of course, he wins three championships. Come on, they're the favorite for the next two seasons. All right, now we will get to our next division breakdown, the AFC North, and tomorrow we will be breaking down the AFC South. We have the Cleveland Browns, Baltimore Ravens, Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Cincinnati Bengals. I'll start quick with the Cleveland Browns. I'll knock them out of the way. 2-14, and 14, bottom of the division. Now, the, once again, 2-14. and 14, Game better than last season. Now, the next three teams, I think, could finish in any order based on injuries. But if all the teams stay relatively healthy with their big names on the field, I think it'll go like this. Cincinnati Bengals finishing third at 9-7. and seven. Baltimore Ravens finishing second at 10 and 6 and the Pittsburgh Steelers finishing first at 11 and 5. So, once again, Pittsburgh's up top at 11 and 5, Baltimore right after them at 10 and 6 and Cincinnati 9 and 7. If any injuries happen to any of the big names, Roethlisberger, Bell, Brown, Dalton, Eifert, Green, Flacco, then the whole division those whole top 3 positions could change and any of the 3 could be the winner, but I think it'll be Pittsburgh once again. Oh, and also today, forgot to mention this, Alexi Sanchez was sought after by Manchester City, and Arsenal is absolutely furious over the transfer request. They immediately rejected and basically shut the door in Manchester City's face. This is after they sent Alex Oxley chamberlain to Liverpool. So, all right, guys, that's it for today from the World of Sports. And I will see you again tomorrow with some more news and my predictions on the AFC South and my final playoff predictions based on the standings as of September 1st. All right, guys. Richard out.